Yeah, salam alaikum my friends and welcome to the next video on my channel. Today there was the Europa League and the Champions League draw, the round of 32 in the Europa League and the knockout stage of the Champions League. So, I want to give you my opinion in this video because a lot of you requested it yesterday evening. So I thought, come on, I'm going to do this video. I hope you will enjoy it. Let me know your opinion in the comments down below and hit that like button if you are looking forward for these matches in 2016. I'm going to start off with the Europa League and then continue with the Champions League because in the Europa League, my club, Fenerbahce, is playing. We are facing... Lokomotiv Moscow and um, yes, let's start off. I'm not happy with this draw. Of course, you can win versus Moscow. That is no question, but at the end because of the stuff what happened there, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to say if he's right or he's right, if Turkey is right or Russia is right. It is just unnecessary what happened there. So I'm just saying fuck the politics, really. Really, on the one side the Turkish politics, on the other side the Russian polit politics and what is happening there is um, really sad for me and I don't know, there will be a lot of... I would like to go to Istanbul to watch the match but I know that my family or my friends are going to say no, don't do it please because it is just too dangerous and um, yes, I don't know if there will be Russian fans allowed to be in Istanbul or Turkish fans allowed to be in uh, Russia but that this makes me sad because I don't want to have something like this it is yes, not peaceful and it, it is Yes, unfortunately we got this um, draw. I would have liked to see um, Leverkusen or Schalke to go there in Germany. But unfortunately, uh, but I think we can do it. So it will be a difficult match, but it is possible to advance. Then let's have a look at the other matches. Valencia versus Rapid Wien. Rapid Wien so far in the Europa League, really great performance. Valencia coming down from the Champions League, really interesting for me. Nobody is talking so far about this match, but I'm excited for this one. Fiorentina versus Tottenham, again, what a match, it is, yes, not Champions League level, but two interesting teams, and looking forward for this one as well, a Champions League match is definitely Borussia Dortmund versus Porto, and this is going to be amazing, I think there are a lot of Porto and Dortmund fans out there, so leave a comment down below, we got Anderlecht versus Olympiakos, Yes, maybe two smaller teams, but interesting as well, because I think if Olympiakos is going to advance, they will have a good chance to get a few rounds um, more in the Europa League. Midtjylland versus Man United. So maybe the biggest name Man United in this competition now. Got Midtjylland, maybe the smallest name of this competition. Nothing against the Danish uh, team there. But um, yes, a lot of Man United fans will say now, wow, Champions League and now this. Okay, Augsburg from Germany got Liverpool and um, yes, a lot of German people were uh, smiling after the draw because it was really amazing how they got through at the end because the chances were not, were not that high. But I'm happy for them, Liverpool is a great draw. Sparta Prague versus Krasnodar. Yes, um, Sparta Prague, I don't know, they, they have all three years, they have a good season also in Europe. I think they are going to do it, I don't know. I got the feeling that Sparta Prague is going to do it. Galatasaray versus Lazio Roma. And um, I would say a good draw for Galatasaray. It could have been worse because Lazio Roma is not playing the best football at the moment. They, they can to do way better. And I think Galatasaray is going to do it. Saldo Aslan. Then we got Sion versus Braga. Not the most interesting matchup in my opinion. Shakhtar Donetsk versus Schalke. A lot of German people want to have another draw because Shakhtar Donetsk they are a good team. They, they got a good team and they are able to play football. Marseille versus Athletic Bilbao. Again, a, a matchup. Marseille not playing a good season, but um, I think an interesting match as well. Sevilla, the title holder, versus Molde out of our group. So imagine Fenerbahce would have faced uh, Sevilla. I would have said, okay, this is going to be difficult. But good luck, Molde. We got Sporting versus Bayer Leverkusen. So. Sporting at the end, um, yes, one versus Besiktas, Leverkusen from the Champions League. It is going to be interesting. It is a, um, yeah, a, a tough opponent for um, Leverkusen. We got Villarreal versus Napoli. Interesting as well, Napoli. 
I don't know. I think at the end they will advance. And we got Saint-Étienne versus Basel. So the, um, yes, the home of the final is in Basel. I think Basel wants to win it and I think they are going to do it because of the psychological thing that they are going to, or they have the chance to play at home the final. And that is the round of 32 in the Europa League. Let's continue with the Champions League. Yes, my friends, let's talk quickly about the Champions League draw. And I think there are some interesting matchups as well. We got Ghent versus Wolfsburg I would say a bit lucky for Wolfsburg but I'm really happy for them because for first time that they got into the Champions League knockout stage for Ghent as well so not the most difficult one for both teams but it will be interesting then we are going to start off there are so great matches we got Roma versus Real Madrid wow I hope the best for Roma because uh, somehow I like them but Real Madrid is really difficult Paris Saint-Germain versus Chelsea I think really we got this match every single year in the Champions League I don't know what you think about it. let me know it in the comments down below we got Juventus versus Bayern Munich um, yes my club from Germany versus Juventus and it is always difficult pl to play versus Italian clubs in the Champions League so really interesting we are going to face old friends Mario Mandzukic and um, Kingsley Coman as well so it is going to be really difficult Arsenal versus Barcelona sorry for the Gunners but it will be over I think because Barcelona this year is just amazing even if they have struggled in the league now but Barcelona Maybe the best club in Europe so far. Then we got PSV versus Atletico Madrid. I think the Dutch guys are really a surprising team. I don't know. I would not say that Atletico is through. So I would say good luck to the Netherlands. Good luck to our neighbors. I think they have a pretty nice chance. We got Benfica versus Tenit. And yes, two underdogs maybe. And one of them will be in the quarterfinals. That is really interesting. I think at the end... Zenit will do it. Dynamo Kiev versus Manchester City and we know Manchester City in the Champions League. So they have to advance into the semi-finals someday. I don't know, they have so great players and I think this year they will be in the semi-finals, maybe. And yes my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Leave a comment down below and yes, we will see us next time. Hopefully I can bring you a FIFA video tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. And um, yes, I'm looking forward for the Champions League and the Europa League and looking forward for your comments. We will see us next time. I'm out. Peace.